US President Joe Biden is the latest high profile figure to join TikTok. That's despite the app being banned on American government devices. So that doesn't make any sense at all. He signed legislation back in 2022, stopping the use of the app, which is owned by Chinese company ByteDance, citing national security concerns. We did the same thing here. The Biden HQ account made its debut during the Super Bowl yesterday. Gamer commercials. Game. Gamer halftime show. Game. Jason Kelsey or Travis Kelsey? Mama Kelsey. I understand she makes great chocolate chip cookies. Deviously plotting to rig the season so the Chiefs would make the Super Bowl or the Chiefs just being a good football team? I'm getting in trouble if I told you. Trump or Biden? Are you kidding? <laughs> Biden. Biden's 2024 presidential campaign says it will continue to use the app to reach voters, even though it said last year that it would not join TikTok. I cannot speak, nor will I speak for the campaign. For the campaign. I, I can't do that or their decisions. Nothing's changed about the national security concerns uh, from the, the NSC's perspective about the use of TikTok on government devices. That policy is still in place. John Kirby did not like answering those questions. Former Labor Senator Stephen Conroy, hello. It's a weird one. It's a weird one to do, isn't it? Yeah, look, it is. I mean, TikTok uh, are a company that are manipulated by China. By China, They pump out propaganda that helps destabilise, you know, Western democracies. Uh, but unfortunately, they're still viewed by millions and millions of particularly, you know, people under the age of 30. Uh, and so I often joke with my... Uh, Israeli friends that uh, the IDF aren't being beaten by Hamas, they're being beaten by TikTok in terms of world opinion. And, uh, that's true, yeah. You know, Biden has unfortunately got no choice, so it's not banned on private funds. He's got no choice if he wants to reach out to that younger demographic, uh, that he has to, uh, you know, campaign on it. Uh, banning it off government funds is smart. It's the, it's the right thing to do. Uh, I'd be very comfortable if they went further and wanted to, you know, not make it available through the app stores. But no one's got the appetite for that. Uh, but you, you just need to understand that the, the Chinese can tweak an algorithm and suddenly are spewing uh, material uh, to uh, anyone who's viewing it uh, in a way that can change the narrative. So yeah. this is a real conundrum for Western democracies about how we allow free speech, how we allow... Uh, platforms, but at the same time, knowing that China manipulate their algorithms. All right, let's get to national security here. Now, the government dragged its feet on detainees at the back end of last year. This is following that high court decision. Now we're learning two months on that it still hasn't made a request to try and lock them up again. I mean, is that acceptable, given that it's two months on now and there's teams of lawyers working on it, Stephen? Well, the lawyers work at their own pace sometimes, having been in government... You wish that legislation and regulations could be drafted faster uh, than they uh, they seem to be able to. And often you get told behind the scenes, look, we've got a shortage of drafters, uh, which in this situation is not really uh, good news for the government. Uh, I mean, we've got a number of people who should be detained. But what we need to understand and not forget is this is legislation championed and put through Parliament by Peter Dutton. At the time, I remember the arguments at the time that this legislation would not stand high court scrutiny. And so Peter Dutton said, I don't care. I'm just going to do this anyway. I'm going to put legislation that we knocked over. And all the period of the Liberal government, this was under a challenge. And the, Peter Dutton and the Liberals did nothing to make this a safer piece of legislation in terms of its uh, high court challenge status. So the Liberals have got not a lot to jump on about this. Labor needs to get on with this so that it can reassure Australians that people well, that... I guess they do. I mean, not... I've had the coalition on. Is the tail wagger... I know you, you said that lawyers work at their own pace here, and, I, and you're right, they do, but is the tail wagging the dog here? Yeah, no, look, I think the government need to put its foot down and say we want to see uh, whatever legislation, whatever requests, whatever they need to be getting... You know, putting the pressure on behind the scenes so people who should not be out there endangering safety are uh, at least being monitored, at least being considered to be returned. You know, the High Court did set out a set of guidelines that would allow some individuals to be detained uh, and we just need to crack on with it.